Am I the A for rejecting my boyfriend's proposal, even though I've been dropping hints that I want to marry? I, 26 female, and boyfriend, 30 male, have been dating for three years and we don't live together because we both want to get married first because our parents won't agree to cohabitating before marriage. I've been fairly obvious about wanting to get married and my boyfriend has picked up on it. Last week, we went to my great aunt's funeral. Although I didn't know her very well, I was still upset and it was really hard to see how much it hurt my mother. So after the funeral, we went to a hall that we rented to cater to the other mourners and to remember her. My boyfriend saw this as a chance to propose. This left me mortified and everyone was staring at us for using this to make it about ourselves. I said no. He got angry and walked off, saying that I'm the one who wanted to get married, so I shouldn't care where he proposes. He also said that if I truly loved him, I would say yes. He's ignoring me right now and won't give me a chance to explain. In any other scenario, I would say yes, but I didn't think it was the right place or time. I'm wondering if I'm the a-ho because I rejected him even though I want to get married. When I asked my coworker, she agreed that what I did was wrong, but I want some more opinions from people who don't know me. So am I the a-ho? Edit. I'm seeing a lot of comments talking about how we let our parents dictate our lives. So I just want to clarify that we both live on our own and have spent long periods of time at each other's apartments. The only reason we don't live together is out of respect to our parents' views. I have a roommate and he doesn't, so I spend most of my time at his place. We just don't officially live together. Thank you for all your responses. We're both speaking to each other about everything. We both agree that we should have communicated more about our future together. The situation is progressing. However, I'm reevaluating our relationship and things that have happened recently and in the past. He's adamant about being in the right because he believes that he was trying to cheer everyone up by giving us something to celebrate instead of mourn. I didn't realize how emotionally immature he really is. Now for the comments before the update. I'm going to say not the A. A funeral is no place to propose. Not the A. The only explanation I can think of is that he doesn't want to get married, but also wants you to be the reason. So he proposed in the absolute worst possible way so that you say no. Then he can hold that over you for the rest of the relationship. Whenever you imply you should get married. I proposed and you said no. I'm not going to ask again. His stating that you are the one that wanted to get married is interesting. So he doesn't want to get married. Since he doesn't want to get married, why is he pouting and telling you to say yes? He doesn't want to get married. Proposal at a funeral, which pretty much guarantees a no to the proposal. So he should be happy you said no. Update. A lot has happened since my first post. Firstly, my boyfriend and I have since broken up. This was for a multitude of reasons, the biggest one being that he cheated on me. My former boyfriend and I have not been living together, but I did spend most of my time at his place, as I have a roommate and he never. However, when I went to visit him, his friend told me that he had been cheating on me and had gotten another girl pregnant. This crushed me because we have been dating for nearly four years. This led to us breaking up. When I questioned him about why he had cheated, he told me he wasn't the type to commit to anyone, despite initially rushing me with the promise that we would be in a committed relationship. This was hard for me to understand, as we have been speaking about marriage and the future. When we used to talk about marriage, he would always say that he would never be happy in a marriage where he got proposed to, as if it would be an insult to his masculinity. Looking back on this, I should have realized that he had many noticeable toxic traits. 
He proposed to me at my aunt's funeral, which is something I will never understand. When I asked him why he did that, he initially claimed it was to make everybody happy. But when I pushed him for more information, he told me it was to show his lover that I was a bad person. This is because he was cheating on me with my aunt's friend's daughter, who was at the funeral. So he proposed to me to show that our relationship is over to that girl in order to justify why he was cheating, even though he knew I was grieving. Since we broke up about three weeks after the funeral, his friend who exposed the affair to me told me that because she was pregnant, he had to find a way to make her not leave him and chose the funeral to make a public display for her. I haven't seen him since the breakup and his friend moved all my stuff out of the apartment for me so I don't have to see him. His family are very strict and because he is having a kid out of wedlock, they have refused to help him. So he has been contacting me for help. I haven't responded nor do I intend to respond because I will not lower my self-worth to help someone who never truly cared about me. Since our breakup, my life has improved as I can now do the things that he never wanted me to do. And I've now realized how lucky I am that we never married. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.